Hi there, my name is Sandy Esprit and thank you very much for checking out my YouTube vlog. Uh, today I am going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you how I clarify my hair. This is my hair clarifying routine video and I will be explaining um, what I do, the steps that I use and pretty much where I got like the inspiration to do it. As always, please do not forget to subscribe. It's a big red box that has the word subscribe in it. Just click it, share it, like it, give it a big thumbs up if those are the kinds of videos that you like to watch so we're just gonna go ahead and just jump right in to so for a clarifying shampoo I use the Ren Pure apple cider vinegar um, clarifying shampoo and it says that it boosts shine um, personally that's not why I use it I use it because I need my hair to be squeaky clean and I mean but I only do that once a month and what that does is it's gonna reset my hair get my hair back to its like original state where it's free from all of the um, oil buildup, silicone buildup, um, all of that toxic, like environmental toxins, whether we're talking about pollution, whether we're talking about um, grime, you know, sometimes even the stuff that gets in our hands because we love to like give ourselves some scalp massages. You all know what you're picking up. I have kids who love to play with my hair when it's out because it's so fluffy and it's so soft to them. So they just Put their hands in there yeah and so in this video i'm using the ren pure apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo and the reason i bought it which and the reason i bought it is because i was actually looking for a different clarifying shampoo but where i went i went to walmart and they didn't have it at walmart at the time and so it was between the ren pure or another one and i checked out the price and the size versus like that's I'm frugal so price tag I'm uh, first thing I look at when I'm trying something new is the price I checked out the price and I thought it was a good price for the quality or the quantity of product that I was receive I was gonna receive and I also checked out the reviews when so and that's one thing I do when I'm trying out a new product I have to see what are the people saying what are they saying about it this is really really big for me because most of the time People aren't going to relieve positive or negative reviews just for kicks. Most of the time, people actually say the honest truth. Like, what is a company going to do? Like, show up at their house and beat them up? And so I went and checked out the reviews, and the reviews were positive. I also loved that it had um, a plant-based ingredients in there. I love the fact also that they had recycled products. Like, their packaging was made from recycled um, products. So that made me feel a little more comfortable in trying out this product. As usual, I go first things first is I wet my hair. I make sure that my hair is completely drenched, completely wet. And I go ahead and I apply the shampoo. Two pumps typically does it. And I go ahead and just start first in my scalp. That's the first place I go into and I just rub with my fingers i try not to i do my best I try to just get in there and give myself a good nice head massage just get in there work the lather in my scalp and the next i go and i bring the foam down all the way from root to end and i try to just separate it as i go along very very moment but i try my best to try to get the shampoo in through the rest of my hair so that the product buildup gets out from my hair and I do that two times to make sure that my hair and scalp but right away I noticed how light my hair felt it just felt really um, light like there was this it was carrying a burden of buildup and just not having anything in there just lightened the load on in terms of this particular shampoo I did like it I I personally think that it does the job very, very well in terms of clean, like cleaning. That's a, it's a very good clarifying shampoo. And I think everybody who's looking for a good clarifying shampoo and is not looking to spend over $20, go to Walmart, get it. It's worth it. Um, the only thing for me personally is I did find it to be very heavy on the fragrance. And I wasn't a big fan of the fragrance. I'm not sure what it smells like, but it smelled very, um, very pungent and cheap, and and I just, I just didn't like it. For me, I the the fragrance I can live with it. Also, the fragrance doesn't last. Once it's out of your hair, it's out. 
Second thing that I do, and I actually got this from reading a blog, a, I think it was on naturallycurly.com. And this I got from her is I use a co-wash right afterwards. So what I do is what I did is then I apply the co-wash from TGIN, which is a TGIN co-wash. Um, I used it on my hair right after I finished washing my hair, right after I shampooed it. I used the co-wash in my hair and at that point, I started to really work it in there, letting it sit and start to finger detangle. So just slowly going in gentle because again, my, at this point is super fragile, super clean and there is no slip, right? So hair hands. So after I co-washed it, I went ahead and used the deep conditioner, my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite deep conditioners from TGIN and it is the Honey Miracle Hair Mask. And if you have not tried this conditioner, what are you waiting for? Like this deep conditioner I feel has been there for me through thick and thin and it's one of those deep conditioners that I just keep buying over and over again. And it smells so good. It smells so good. It reminds me of, um, of it, it, gives, it has a fruity banana type smell. I applied the deep conditioner into my hair and with that I use my favorite detangling brush and I go through it section by section and I detangle my hair starting from the ends and I work my way up all the way to the roots. I separate my hair into four sections and I do that with a deep conditioner. I let I try my best to leave it and let it sit before I try to do any kind of detangling. And of course, before using the detangling brush, I use my fingers. So apply the deep conditioner, use my fingers to detangle, and then I use my favorite detangling brush to go into it. Once I've done all of that, I braid it or twist it and then I apply a plastic cap over it and leave it in for like an hour or so, however long it says. Like it says an hour, I think. I don't know. I just have like so many other things to take care of that I lose track of time to be honest with you. I need to do better at paying attention to the instructions. But I leave it in my hair for a long time and then I go back and and I rinse it out and right away guys after I've done these three steps rinsed done all of that my hair is moisturized it's hydrated and it's light like it's so fluffy my curls are back they're bouncing and all that's left for me to do is just put in a leave-in conditioner and not much I put in a leave-in conditioner and I do two braids off the side of my hair and I I just set it to let it air dry as I normally do with my hair and it's it's been awesome. So if this is something that you're noticing that your hair is not cooperating, like your curls is not cooperating or your hair or your hair strands, whether or not you have relaxed hair or um, your hair is curly or texturized, whatever the texture of your hair is, I highly suggest that everybody clarifies their hair and resets their hair at least once a month or once every two months to just really um, give your hair a chance to bounce back and not feel so like heavy. <laughs> Don't let it be burdened with excess products. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. And, um, don't forget to subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. If these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, please let me know in the comments section. Share it with your friends. Click that like button and um, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.